Hi and welcome to this channel. Today's tutorial will show us on how we can make a story view. Not like WhatsApp and Instagram. So you can see in our story view. You can go front. If I click this to go front. If I click this to go front. If I go back. You can go front and back. You can go back and front and fast forward. So let's see how we can do this in Sketchware. So my Sketchware project is in this format. No need of any library, as you can see. I didn't even enable our compact library, so there's no need of library in this project. We just sketch your logic in our own create. So I added a linear view. This linear view will contain all the progress bar. Then this will contain this a linear view again. I added my image view here. So beside my image view is my video view. In case it's a video, so let's see what I did. A more block, I added a more block. So, what the more block do is to create progress bar depending on the amount of items. For instance, if the user posts 100 images or user posts 100 images that has videos, so this is it. And this is my progress bar code to so set progress bar based on the current item so i'm creating all this view programmatically so now in our create i created a more block a, sorry i created a component called timer i created a timer component this is my timer component my timer component so this is my timer component called time time so this is my timer component so the first thing i'm doing is I'm, I'm cloning WhatsApp status, how it does WhatsApp status. So I'm reading all the status in my device. But if it's from Firebase, then no need of adding this block, this file block. All you just need to do is pass the list. If it's Firebase, just get the number of, pass the add, sorry. What I'm saying is, if it's a Firebase status view, what you have to do is to pass the length of data you have in your Firebase to a list string. So pass this list string to here. So what the list string does is it will create progress bar based on the number of data you have. So it will create progress bar. So I created two number variable called POS and progress. So the POS is a position of the progress bar while the progress is the progress of the progress bar. So for every one second, I'm checking if the progress has reached 100. If the progress has reached 100, that means I'll increase the position to 1 and the progress to 0. What this thing means is, if the progress is 100, so if it's 100, if it's 100, as you can see, if it's 100, if it's 100, we'll go to the next. So that is it. So you can see, to go to the next progress bar. So that's what that does. But if it's not under it, we're going to check if if it's a video. If it's a video, then we're going to remove the image view and play the video. If it's a video, we're going to remove the or if it's an image, we're going to remove the video and set the image. So anytime it is touched, whenever it is touched, we're going to go to the next. If it's touched right, if it's touched right, what is that? If it's touched right, it's go to next. If it's touched left, it's go to back. So that is how it is. You can download this project on Sketchly. Please subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching. Stay blessed.